Hello guys, today in this video, I will tell you how you can create a macOS Monterey virtual machine in VMware on Windows. But first we need to install some required files for macOS installation. All the required files. Link is in the description below. First open File Explorer and go to the folder where you have downloaded the files. Look for winInstall.cmd file in Unlocker folder. Right-click on the file and run as administrator. It will install required files for VMware. It will take few seconds to install. After this, restart your PC to take effect. After restarting your PC, open VMware to install macOS Monterey. Click on Create New Virtual Machine, then click on Typical Option. Select your ISO image by clicking on Browse button, ISO link also available in description. After selecting ISO file, click on Next, then you will see some different option in VMware, named Apple Mac OS X. Select Mac OS 12. You can leave a default, because it doesn't matter. Make sure you have enough storage in your system. Select at least 80 GB. After finishing this process, click on the Memory tab and choose at least 4 GB RAM, because it's the minimum system requirements. Now, close VMware and go to the Documents folder and locate your Virtual Machine folder. You have to make some changes in Virtual Machine files. Now, locate macos 12vmx file and right-click on it and open it with Notepad. Now, scroll down at the bottom and add a right a lot. Write BMV dot version equals zero. Make sure you write in correct format. After writing, save the file and close Notepad. Open VMware Workstation again and power on the virtual machine. As you can see the Apple logo, that means it's booted. It will take some time to load, depends on your system. Now select your language, mine is English, so I am going to select English. There are four options in front of you, click on Disk Utility and then click on Continue. If your keyboard or mouse is not working at this point, then click on VM tab and then select all removable devices. Now select VMware Virtual SATA Hard Drive, then click on Erase button to format this drive. Change the Erase format from Apps to Mac OS Extended Journal. Make sure you only select Mac OS Extended Journal. After erasing the disk, quit Disk Utility. Now select Install Mac OS 12 Beta and click on Continue.
click on Agree. Here you will see your drive, select it, and then click on Continue. Now it's going to take so much time, so be patient and grab a cup of coffee. It will restart the virtual machine several times. Now select your country or region, it will lag a lot while doing the setup process, but it will run smooth after doing setup. If you want to change settings, then click on Customize Settings. If you want to add language, then click on plus button, and then search for your language. You can also change keyboard layout by doing the same process. Click on Not Now, or it's your choice. You can configure internet connection, but you can do that later. Click on Continue.
If you have another Mac and want to migrate all data, then you can also do that. But I don't want to migrate data. Agree all the terms and conditions. Enter your full name and your account name, and then you have to set a password because it's required. As you can see, I tried it without password, but it's not working, so we have to set a password. Click on continue. Click on continue. Now select not now, then click on continue. You can choose it the way you like, but I prefer auto mode. As you can see here, our virtual machine is successfully booted. Now we can use Mac OS on our Windows machine. You can see the version of our Mac operating system. That's it guys for today. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.